What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Best Players for All Budgets. Today we're taking a look at the goalkeepers. Let's crack on. So we're going to start with Dubrovka. This guy is your budget option. He's 34,000 GP. He doesn't train up too bad, right? So you've obviously got the high reflexes. He's fairly tall. The, the, the kind of the trick is with the goalkeepers, lads, is with the gameplay at the moment, if you have a goalkeeper over 190 centimeters, you don't need to have good jump or good reach because they're so tall, they're able to cover the area, right? So for example, if you've got a goalkeeper that's a little bit smaller, like Sommer, that is when you need to train him up. So we'll show you an example here, and then we'll show you an example of Courtois in a little bit as well. Now, Sommer is down on the list because he is actually quite uh, pricey. Uh, he's 120,000 GP. But as you can see there, we've maxed out his reflexes and his jump. So because his reach doesn't go that high, we've overcompensated with the jump so that he's able to spring up and get a lot of chances deflected. We also have a similar one with Martinez. So Martinez is a similar player here in terms of his height, in terms of his ability of just being a big unit, of being able to cover the ground. We'll catch Courtois in a second and we'll show you the example or else we'll use Donnarumma depending on that. But he's down for 76,000 GP. I was out on Martinez for quite a while, but since the World Cup, I think he's been a bit of a beast, and he's uh, he's a really good goalkeeper. We also have Rulli. So this guy is only 34,000. He is the real budget option of this. Again, he's 189 centimeters, so he's right on the cusp. He does have standard form, but he does train up quite nicely. So you can see there, 90 reflexes. You don't need to worry too much about the jump. And he also has low punt and long throw, which are the two best goalkeeper stats that you can possibly have, uh, which is always nice. Now, Courtois. A lot of people will say, where's Oblak? Where's, uh, where, why isn't Courtois a little bit higher up? Courtois is probably the best pound for pound goalkeeper in the game, but his budget at 300,000, you're putting him on the same kind of field as some players. I mean, you can get two top-class centre-backs or else a striker and a centre-back. You could get Marquinhos and Martinez, Lissandro Martinez, for the same price, really, as Courtois. So, you know, when you are training him up, that is a key point to make. We also have Donnarumma, my favourite goalkeeper in the game. We'll show you my favourite build for him with the current gameplay. Um, but he costs 170000 Other than that, he would be the top pick. I think Donnarumma is still my top pick. He's got all the player stats and, and the skills. He's got the height. He's got everything that you could possibly want. He is prone to a couple of mistakes, but long throw, low punt. And of course, you've got that 90 reflexes. His form is usually good as well. So that leaves us with the last, right? So I kind of toiled over this decision, lads, with Ter Stegen being the best goalkeeper. And I would say that this Ter Stegen has kind of slowly but surely become more and more um, dominant and more and more capable. I've seen him pull off some incredible animated saves or animations that just seem to be very unique for him. He's big, but he's not too big. He's he's at that perfect kind of skill-based, um, kind of like 187 centimeters. So he's not as big of a giant as Donnarumma. But the big thing is, you need to make a decision whether you want to be doing a bit of manual goalkeeping or you want to let the AI do everything. And Ter Stegen is the perfect blend between that at a price that isn't unattainable for most players. Like 180,000 GP is way below Courtois. It puts him on the same level with Donnarumma. So if you do like to do a lot of manual goalkeeping, Ter Stegen is a beast. He's nimble. He's not as slow as Donnarumma. Donnarumma is just an absolute giant. There is no really top one and two here because this is how we've trained Ter Stegen and they're very similar. So yeah, main thing with the goalkeeper lads is you need to make a decision. If you want to have manual goalkeeping, you need reflexes and you need to be, you know, quite you know smaller than say like 190, 192 cm. And if you have a goalkeeper that is really tall, really dominant, and really strong and big, then you don't need reach or jumping. So yeah, that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Short and sweet video. Hope you enjoyed the series. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.